What's going on everybody? Welcome to WBR Garage Season 6, Episode 4, where we are starting the removal of the fairings and some other stuff on our 2018 Yamaha R6. If you guys remember the first episode, we picked the bike up. The second episode, I told you guys about the build plans. Then we went for a little jaunt on the R6, and now it is time to start the removal process. Now, our goals for this episode are to remove the rear swing arm with the drive chain. To do that, we need to remove the exhaust, and to do that, we have to remove the fairings, and as if that wasn't enough, I also need to get the gas tank removed. If everything goes well today, that is what we're gonna get to. I got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. If you guys are new here, this is WBR Garage, where we take motorcycles, turn them into dream bikes, and then we give them away to the people that support the show over on WBRGarage.com. If you want to support over there, you can grab a membership, which will let you have access to our Discord and our build stream, where you can be one of those people. They're waving at you right now. You can't see their hands, but they're waving at you. You can actually watch us film the shows live, as well as get videos a week ahead of time. If you're not a membership style person, you can always buy some merch, you know, like shirts or hats or anything really. If, whether you get a membership or merchandise, whatever it is, you get entries to win the bike once we get done with it. So thank you to anybody over at WBRGarage.com that signs up or grabs some stuff. Now let's get to the build. I know a lot of you guys really love the blue R6 and I'm not gonna lie, it looks great as well to me, but you guys take a good look cause this is the last time you are gonna see this motorcycle look like this. After today, she's changing. Maybe, maybe a slow-mo segment. Yeah, let's go. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna start with removing these fairings. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of them and it's a lot of meticulous little buttons and things to remove. I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process. As long as nothing's broken or corroded on the inside of it, it shouldn't be that bad. We've got the manual, it tells us exactly how to do it. Let's hope everything goes well. All right guys, so uh, bike's up on the lift and the first couple fairings that we have to remove, you actually can't see, it's the black fairing behind the side piece this fairing right here that kind of connects the bottom guys and then there's this kind of fairing that's up here underneath the handlebars and the lever if i get those off those are like the finishing pieces the one two three four and five on the other side once i get those off i can then remove all the black fairings these are always the biggest pain in the butts can you guys see the little push pins these are by far my least favorite fairings to put on on every single motorcycle. So we're gonna get in there, get those off so we can start getting all the blue ones off. All right, guys, good God. Um, this side fairing was the definition of a nightmare, but we've got that one off. We got the middle. Look at all the nastiness that came from this middle fairing. My goodness gracious. All right, so now it's on to the side. We haven't removed the inner fairing here. We're gonna save that for the other side. But uh, from what I understand, you need to work your way from the bottom up here. So it'll be this black fairing here at the bottom. It'll be this big side fairing. And hypothetically, hypothetically, I can see all the bolts that need to be removed. We'll find out if that's true. Let's get started. Or let's, it's not, we're not starting, we're continuing. Let, may we continue on. <laughs> All 
right, guys, I'm in the process of removing fairings, oh, and we need a headlight. Is a, it, we got a big sad. Oh, uh, we need two headlights. No. Yeah, what happened? I thought that one was fine. <laughs> All right, guys, check it. R1 style headlights, the ones at the bottom here. Can you guys, I don't know if it's going to focus on it. There's a big old crack there at the bottom. Probably happened from like a chip or something, like a rock going. This one doesn't, oh damn, this one has cracks too. All right, if somebody's got a tally, can you add primary headlights to an R6, to a purchase order? All right, well, I did expect this to kind of happen, uh, but that sucks that both of them are knocked out. All right, uh, I'm gonna keep the fairing thing going. I just wanted to update you guys with that. Let's hope this big side fairing comes off easy. All right, guys, finally got the side fairing off. Check it out. So I was having a really hard time figuring out how to get the top portion off this part. I eventually found this little guy who's threaded, if you guys can see, all the way into there right here. So that was holding on here. But even after I got that out, it still didn't want to release but it's this little push pin guy right here that seems to thread into the head in right there so that was a little problematic a little annoying but we got it off so i think now that that's the, all the side stuff uh we can move to the other side which i mean deductive reasoning tells us that it should be mostly the same all right, so I'm gonna get to the other side, see if we can knock all this out a little faster than that and we can keep on trucking. Alrighty guys, just like that, we got all the side fairings removed. Let's check this thing out. All right guys, got all the left side uh, fairings over here. Got all the right side fairings over here. Trying to keep everything super organized and putting the hardware back in where I can, whether it be actually on the motorcycle, like here, or in the fairing. Now, our research tells us that to get the exhaust off, we need to remove the gas tank, something about a valve or something like that. So, uh, I was gonna say, let's go ahead and rock the uh, exhaust off, but seems like we need to get the gas tank off first, which kind of works out perfect because we needed to remove that anyway. So, uh, We'll figure out the gas tank and we'll keep her on going. guys check the bike out no gas tank we got the front fairing off you can't remove that until you actually remove the gas tank uh the bolts are like i think they're like screws up up in there uh but there she goes bike is uh most of the blue is gone other than the little tail fairings the next thing we can do is remove the exhaust and um i told you guys this bike has a yoshi exhaust on it and uh patty was looking through the 
the manual on how to remove the exhaust and you said there was a valve. I want you guys to see what they did with the valve, whoever installed this exhaust. Do you guys see these two cables? Those control a valve on the stock exhaust. This is a Yoshi pipe. It does not have the valve connector. So what are these connected to? Literally nothing. They are just hanging there. How we didn't hear those vibrate when the bike was on was only because the Yoshi was so loud. Mm -hmm. So these have just been, just been chilling, hanging. They didn't re unroute them or, or, or anything. That is, that is silly. Time to remove the exhaust and see what other kind of awesome work somebody did on this bike. Lord God, people. <laughs> Hey guys, does this, uh, does this bike look like it's missing anything? No? Yeah, cool, all right, ready for giveaway. <laughs> all right guys, uh, we got the disgusting, this is what 22,000 miles makes your headers look like. Absolutely gross. Uh, as you guys can see, we got the Yoshi can off, we got the headers uninstalled, tanks off. Bike is looking like super thin with nothing down there. The last thing on our goal sheet is to remove the rear wheel, the rear drive chain, and the swing arm. It's getting a little late in the day today, and we've got some other stuff we got to knock out. So we're going to jump ahead of time, two days, uh, and I'm going to get that removed in two days. It'll be two seconds for you guys. I may change shirts, or I might be smart and I'll wear the same shirt. So let's jump two days ahead of time, and uh, let's get the drive chain Uninstalled. That swing arm is not gonna be fun to get off, but I have a special tool that I'll show you guys. Alrighty guys, uh, hopefully you guys are ready to remove this drive chain. Obviously I've changed outfits and it's a couple days in the future. So to get the rear swing arm off, there is a couple things we have to do first. Firstly of which we gotta remove the chain. Once we remove that chain, we should have access to be able to remove the rear wheel. Once we get the rear wheel out of the way, we can then remove the shock, the rear shock. At that point, we should be able to get the swing arm off. If everything goes like the manual says, that is how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna make some sparky boys and get that chain off and uh, then we'll try to get the wheel off. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, uh, chain is off now. We gotta get that rear wheel off. So uh, before I get it up on the jack, which is holding up the engine weight, um, instead of using a rear stand, since this is gonna come off and this is gonna come off, no real point in putting it up on a rear stand. So I'm gonna get that uh, rear axle broken loose and that way we'll get the tire out and we'll keep on chugging. All 
Alright, this video is for future chase when you're reinstalling this swing arm. Here is how Yamaha likes the cables routed. Okay, and then the third one up top. That's how they do it. You're welcome. Install it the way it was done already. Please. I don't think you have much of a choice. Don't. Really they got the cool little... You, you the... do not underestimate six months from now, Chase. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Right. That, right. mm-hmm, everybody changed their story when I put all the facts down. Hey, Bo, remember how we think it was a, a chain malfunction? Bro, look at the fucking inside of this. I told you. Just eating look, away. This, this is the exact spacing of the, ch the length. Hold on. Let me get a shot in here. Look at the chewed upness of the chain guard, which, is I mean. Anything up here? Yeah, right, right here. There. Yeah, yeah. That's a chain. I told you. It was, it was definitely a chain. I told snap. you it was 100% a chain snap because that happened to me on the Tiger. Somebody 100% snapped the chain on this thing. <laughs> yeah, you see the. <laughs> you can see it lined up. It tore this up. Yeah. So uh, be careful with your chains, everybody. That That's not. Can you imagine being on an R6 when that happened? Cause you know dumbasses riding this is probably screaming. Hope that guy was okay. <laughs> Alrighty dudes, uh, we have a naked swing arm now. We've got everything taken off of it. The fender, we've got the Brackets taken off for the brake lines. Everything's off this thing. So uh, we should now be ready to swap over to removing the rear shock so then we can get the swing arm off. So far, so good. Also, this bike has got so much more than just being dropped in a driveway. You're a liar guy on Craigslist. I'm just kidding. It could have happened before you. All right, time for rear shock. All right, dudes, uh, to get this shock out, it doesn't seem that bad. So there are dog bones here, also known as wish bones by me. And then there's this little middle bracket here. And then if we come to the top, we've got this bolt that holds the shock in at the top. Hypothetically, that's all we have to do. So let's find out if that's all we have to do to get this shock uninstalled. This should be fun. <laughs> All right guys, so we've run into a little bit of a hiccup getting the rear shock off. Um, we were trying to like finagle the swing arm because the shock is totally disattached right now. Like it's on its own, but at the bottom, we don't have enough space to get it off and this is the piece we don't want to remove. What we're going to try to do is we are going to remove the swing arm via this little uh, nut and this side. To get a swing arm off of a R6, you have to have a castle nut of the right size. So I've ordered one of these. Um, you can just get them from like Motion Pro. That little castle nut will fit into that little crevice and it is a tight boy fit. So that's where we are. If everything works out perfect, uh, we are going to remove the swing arm and the shock together at the same time. Not sure if this is gonna work, but we'll we'll find out. All right, Pat, if you get that nut off and show a second level of that level of strength, I will replace every calorie that you have spent getting these off with lunch. Game is matched. Yeah, but I can't eat lunch on like a half a calorie. Mm, what you guys want to have for lunch? Wow. Wait, for real? Pomegranate. Yeah, you got a pomegranate seed? I 
I think that I loosened it for you. I'm just gonna, just gonna go fuck myself, excuse me. Oh, wow. Uh, Guys, we almost had to cut for the whole day because I didn't think I had a tool, but I found it. Show them the tool. The tool. So. Sorry, hold on. The tool. I thought I just needed the castle nut, but you need like a giant Allen. Was it, is that 24 side? Yep. So that has to rotate the whole way out. I was searching over, like, look at all these tools we have, guys. We have a lot of them here, and I'm sitting here in my head like, I remember us using this very specific tool to do another swing arm job, and it just turns out that it was stuck in over here. Wait, not that one. This one, the big boy drawer. We don't go in there very often. Okay, crisis averted, back. Now we can hopefully remove the swing arm, which means we can hopefully remove the shock. There's a lot of hopefully going on. Right, guys uh, we got the swing arm removed it actually worked out with getting the shock and the swing arm kind of conjoined together as we unthrusted them out from the bottom of the bike <laughs> unthrust what is up with you in that word today <laughs> um so a couple of other things we've done we've got these little rails that come in from there and there we removed those. Now, if we were gonna get this thing powder coated, I would be removing the bearings, but it's going to be painted. So it's not gonna be like heated to hell and back. So the painter can just like tape that stuff off. The last couple things we gotta do to finish this up is remove these little guys and the adjusters. And at that point, this thing should be ready to go to our painter along with the gas tank that is there. All right, so I'm gonna get on that and then that should be the end of this video. Getting on a video right now. What are we doing? This is our axle nut or our internal axle tool. Yes. One right here next to our castle, castle nut, nut removal tool. Yes, it is here right in, the there. in the specialty tool drawer where it should have been. Under Ike. Under Ike. 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 He used to say, right? Ike. My friends, we have completed all of the goals that we had for this episode. We have the swing arm totally removed ready to go for paint. We have the gas tank totally removed, ready to go to paint. And we have the front fairing that has to get specially painted. We are totally ready to go. And that's all we need to do for this episode. On the next episode, we are going to take this stuff to our paint guy. We'll probably just like insert that in the beginning. And then I believe on the next episode, we are gonna do all the internal fluids while we're waiting on the paint job to get done. Make sure to go check out wbrgarage.com. That is how you can win this motorcycle. You can grab some merch or you can get a membership level. Everything automatically gets you points on your account and you could be our next winner, woo! All right guys, uh, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna keep up with the build and see what it ends up turning into or, or from worse shenanigans. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Uh, just as a reminder, there's a full playlist for this season in the description. So if you guys wanna watch all the episodes together, that is probably one of the easier ways. Obviously the easiest way is to go to wbrgarage.com. We have a custom website made to make it easy for you guys to keep up with all these freaking episodes. I'm Chase on Two Wheels and I'll see you guys on the next one. Where it's a motorcycle time. I'm R6 here.